Hi everyone, in this course I want to talk about EMDR or eye movement desensitization and reprocessing treatment. In 1987, Frances Shapiro was walking in the park when she realized that eye movements appeared to decrease the negative emotion associated with her memories. She assumed that eye movements had a desensitizing effect. Later it became apparent that eye movements by themselves didn't create comprehensive therapeutic effect. Shapiro added other treatment elements, including a cognitive component, and developed a standard procedure that she called EMD. Shapiro conducted a controlled study to test the effectiveness of EMD. She randomly assigned 22 individuals with traumatic memories to two conditions, half received EMD and half received the same traumatic procedure with imagery and detailed description. She reported that EMD resulted in significant decreases in ratings of subjective distress and significant increases in ratings of confidence in a positive belief. Participants in the EMD condition reported significantly larger changes than those in the imagery condition. In 1991, she changed the name to Eye Movement Desensitization and Reprocessing, or EMDR, to reflect the insights and cognitive changes that occurred during treatment. EMDR is a form of psychotherapy in which the person being treated is asked to recall distressing images. The therapist then directs the patient in one type of bilateral stimulation, such as side-to-side -side eye movements or hand tapping. Shapiro hypothesizes that EMDR therapy facilitates the accessing of the traumatic memory network so that information processing is enhanced with new associations forged between the traumatic memory and more adaptive memories or information. These new associations are thought to result in complete information processing, new learning, elimination of emotional distress, and development of cognitive insights. EMDR therapy uses three protocols. First, the past events that have laid the groundwork for dysfunction are processed, forging new associative links with adaptive information. Second, the current circumstances that elicit distress are targeted, and internal and external triggers are desensitized. Third, imaginal templates of future events are incorporated to assist the client in acquiring the skills needed for adaptive functioning. During EMDR therapy sessions, you relieve traumatic or triggering experiences in brief doses while the therapist directs your eye movements. EMDR is thought to be effective because recalling distressing events is often less emotionally upsetting when your attention is diverted. This allows you to be exposed to the memories or thoughts without having a strong psychological response. People who are dealing with traumatic memories and those who have PTSD are taught to benefit the most from EMDR. EMDR is effective for those who struggle to talk about their past experiences. EMDR therapy is broken down into eight phases. Treatment usually takes about 12 separate sessions. Phase one is history and treatment planning. Your therapist will first review your history and decide where you are in the treatment process. This evaluation phase also includes talking about your trauma and identifying potential traumatic memories to treat specifically. Phase 2 is preparation. Your therapist will help you learn several different ways to cope with the emotional or psychological stress you are experiencing. 
Stress management techniques such as deep breathing and mindfulness may be used. Phase 3 is assessment. Your therapist will identify the specific memories that will be targeted and all the associated components for each target memory. Phases 4 to 7 is treatment. Your therapist will begin using EMDR therapy techniques to treat your targeted memories. During these sessions, you will be asked to focus on a negative thought, memory or image. Your therapist will simultaneously have you do specific eye movements. The bilateral stimulation may also include taps or other movements. After the bilateral stimulation, your therapist will ask you to let your mind go blank and notice the thoughts and feelings you are having spontaneously. After you identify these thoughts, your therapist may have you refocus on that traumatic memory or move on to another. If you become distressed, your therapist will help bring you back to the present before moving on to another traumatic memory. Over time, the distress over particular thoughts, images or memories should start to fade. Phase 8 is evaluation. In the final phase, you'll be asked to evaluate your progress after these sessions. Your therapist will do the same.